Hi everybody. So you've got lots and lots of material from your activities. I like to call it material gathering. You've got your maps, you've got your words, you've got your senses, you've got your emotions, what your character's feeling like. So one final thing I think will help you before you start writing your stories. In Ellen's Island, Ellen finds a clue and it's in the form of an acrostic. Now, acrostic sounds quite posh or complicated and it really isn't. Um, so this is the clue that Ellen finds. and I'll read it out for you. Growing life and magic true of beauteous lights of fire. Love's treasures then will come to you. Deliver heart's desire. Now, what Ellen doesn't realise at first is that these first letters of each line spell out the word gold. And that's how an acrostic clue works, really. You just choose what you're going to give a clue to. So in this case, the clue is to gold. And you write your lines using those letters as the first letter of the line. So if you use the word crown, for example, you might have the first letter here would be C, the second line would begin with R, the third line would begin with O, the fourth line would begin with W, the next line would begin with N. Bit of a tip here, if you choose a word like sapphires, that's going to be a really long clue because you'd have to think of a line to go with S, A, P, P, H, I, R, E, S. That might be quite a long clue. So if you choose a short treasure, that'll help you to keep your clue short and snappy. Um, Good luck with that. It's really good for your reader to have something to be um, puzzling about and wondering what the mystery is and what the treasure is. So it'll be good fun if you could include a clue in your story. Good luck with your acrostic and I can't wait for the last activity where we get to start our story.